In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through what a URL is and what a domain name is. Some basic stuff, but uh, I was asked this question just the other day and I thought, hey, I'll make a quick video about it uh, and let's cover these basics so we all know what we're talking about. So, let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a good uh, break over the holiday season, Christmas and all that business. Uh, but it's now January and you're probably, uh, you know, feeling a little bit depressed and you may be hopefully uh, gonna start some projects online and which is why you're watching my videos um, to maybe learn about WordPress and, and all that sort of stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through what a domain name is and what a URL is or URL or unique resource locator. Anyway, these are some terms that are banded around quite a lot and I use them in my tutorials, but I've never really explained exactly what they mean. For a start, um, you may have noticed I've got a new Christmas present, which I got from my wife. It's a light box, but I'm not sure if you can actually read what it says. Let me just, uh, there you go, you see it? It says subscribe on it. Hmm, I think I'm gonna need to uh, maybe reposition it, but hey, back to me. So a domain name is a name that you own on the internet and you basically register it with a domain registrar. I recommend um, GoDaddy. I'll put a link up on the screen if you uh, wanna go and check them out. Highly recommended and very good prizes. But yeah, a domain name is basically, it's like your address or your phone number on the internet. And each one is unique. And um, I say it belongs to you and once you've got it, as long as you keep uh, renewing it, it'll be yours forever. Now a domain name usually only has one dot in it. So it'll be, you know, whatever.com or you know, Microsoft.com, Google.com, uh, whatever.net, eBay.is, .es, whatever. Generally it's a dot and then some letters after it. Apart from when you come to places like the UK where we have funny domain names where we have two dots, so you might have a .co.uk or a .org.uk, um, but I think that's the kind of only exception. So a domain name yeah, generally just has um, one dot and then it ends, it's got, you know, your words, whatever you choose, dot, whatever. And there's quite a lot of whatevers now. There's dot com, dot net, dot blog, dot London, dot whatever you can think of really. So yeah, it's made up of two words generally and there's a dot in the middle. And once you've registered it, you can use it for your email, your websites and all sorts of things. Now a URL is um, basically a very precise link. And what's saying it's basically just a link. So it could just be a domain name on its own. It could be, you know, Microsoft.com or it could have a um, other things attached to it. So for example, it could have the path to a direct page. So maybe on Microsoft site, they've got an office page and the URL for that would be microsoft.com slash office. So it's made up of there of a domain name and also a page. But yeah, in very simple speak, a URL is just a link. So whenever you copy and paste a link uh, from a website, whatever onto Facebook, or whatever, you are copying a URL. So whenever you see a question, maybe you're setting up a new website or registering something and it asks for a URL, that is basically just um, a link to whichever page they're talking about. And it could just be the root of your uh, web page, so, you know, just your domain name. Or it might be specific and be, you know, to a specific page, which in which case it will have slashes after the domain name. I hope that all makes sense. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them below. Uh, I hope you get quite a few videos out this year, although, just to be warned, I do have a baby on the way this month, which is bound to disrupt uh, recording. So I'm gonna try my best. I've got a plan for a brand new affiliate website, um, video, which um, I know a lot of you are looking forward to. So please subscribe and uh, like the video if it was useful. As I say, leave a question below and I will do my best to help you out. Until next time, it's bye for now.